Welcome to your feel good 10 minute yoga flow. My name's Joelle and this practice will be perfect to come back to anytime you just want a little bit of movement or just to generally feel good. Meet me in any seated position you would like and we'll start with a neck stretch by bringing the right ear towards the right shoulder, placing the right hand on top of the head and crawling the left fingertips away. And you might like to close the eyes here, breathing into any stretch or other sensation that may come up for you. Wonderful, and let's let that go. We'll simply switch sides, left ear to left shoulder, reaching the right fingertips away and maybe weighing down the head with the help of the left hand. And again, beginning to feed and nourish your movements and stretches today with some deep waves of breath. And let's release, rolling the shoulders back. We'll place the left hand onto the left rib cage and start to inhale to open up towards the sky and exhale to close. So keep that movement going a few times here, making it your own at the pace of your own breath. Looking up towards the sky on the inhale, and releasing the head and neck on your exhale. And let's take one more. And straightening back up, very nice. Let's come back to center. We'll clasp the hands behind the back to open up through the chest and just start turning the head from left to right. So waking up the neck muscles, finding a little bit of mobility in those bones and joints. And then releasing, we'll try the other side, bringing right hand to the rib cage. Inhale to open up and exhale to close. Perhaps noticing some differences on this second side. One of my favorite moves to open up through the upper back, get into the side body, and maybe allow a soft smile to come to the lips while you're at it. And last one here. And bringing it back to center, clasping the hands with the other thumb on top behind you. And this time nodding the head. So inhaling to look up at the sky and exhaling chin to chest. Keeping the chest nice and proud here. Shoulder blades pulling in towards one another. And releasing, bringing the hands back to center. And meet me at the end of your mat now, big toes together, knees out wide. And we'll walk the hands forward for a child's pose, releasing the forehead in the direction of your mat. And it might feel nice here to rock the head a little bit from side to side, massaging that third eye, or just finding stillness, encouraging the fingertips a little bit further ahead of you, encouraging the hips a little bit further back. And let's walk the hands back up, keeping the knees open as they are. Take a gentle twist towards the right, looking over that shoulder, keeping the crown of the head tall as you switch sides, maybe placing the right hand on the left knee and looking over the left shoulder. And bringing the body back to center, pull the knees together, 
tuck the toes under and we'll simply lift the hips up high for a standing forward fold. And you're welcome to keep the knees as bent as you would like as you take hold of opposite elbows and find a gentle swaying motion from side to side. Letting go of the neck, the jaw, the shoulders. Inviting any tension to be on its way. And then fingertips back towards the mat. Separate the feet and come up onto the balls of the feet so you can squat down and simply rock from one heel to the other. So just a little bit of a swaying motion here as we open up through those hips, getting into the ankles. And we'll gently release the knees back down to the mat, finding an all fours position for a few rounds of cat-cow arching and rounding through the entire spine again flowing with your breath you can inhale on the arch as you look up and exhale to round and just taking one more cat cow here before returning to a neutral spine and we'll sit ourselves down bringing the legs out in front of you, hands behind, and simply cross the right ankle over the left knee for a seated pigeon stretch. You might like to rock a little bit from side to side. I always find that that feels really nice here. But if this is a little too intense, you can always straighten out that left leg. And switching sides by extending through the legs. Left ankle onto right knee now. Bending or straightening that right leg as much as you would like and maybe again finding that gentle rocking motion. And wherever you are, another nice opportunity to smile and remind yourself that we are here today to feel good, feel proud of what our body can do and grateful as well. We'll let that go, planting both feet to the mat, squeezing the glutes and inhaling as you lift them off of the mat into reverse tabletop. Just here for a couple of breaths. Keep the glutes squeezed, reaching the hips higher, higher, higher. And on your next exhale, setting them back down. Very nicely done. We'll roll all the way down now. Meet me in a supine position, planting the left foot to the mat and taking hold behind the right thigh. As you extend that leg up, and take a couple of ankle circles in both directions. Again, you're welcome to keep a bend in that knee. This is not about how straight the leg is. It's about what feels right in your body today. And then gently pull that right knee in towards the chest. You can keep the left foot flat or extend through that leg for this half wind pose. Perhaps closing the eyes once more, calming the breath. Then we'll switch sides. Right foot comes flat, holding behind your left thigh. For those little ankle circles in one direction. And then reversing. And then simply clasping the hands to the front of the knee as you pull it towards the chest and possibly extend through the other leg. Maybe observing anything that comes up for you, whether in the body or mind. And even just 10 minutes can hopefully make a difference in how you feel.
Gently release that knee. Bring the soles of both feet together, knees out wide. Resting the hands on the belly, Supta Baddha Konasana or reclined cobbler's pose. Letting your hands rise and fall with your inhales and exhales. A few deep breaths here. And you're welcome to stay here a little bit longer. If you'd like, you can bring the backs of the hands to the mat and extend out through the legs for a few moments in Shavasana to thank yourself for this feel-good practice today. And it makes me feel good that you've joined me here today as well. So thank you for that. It would also make me feel good if you would subscribe to my YouTube channel. And if you happen to have tight hips, then don't forget to click the first link in the description box below for your free tight hips fix video. Thank you so much and have a wonderful day.